obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. In this project, fluid heat exchange is simulated inside a radiator pipes which is heated by a solar panel. Radiators are one of the most common heating devices in homes and office spaces and have a great impact on the energy consumption rate. In a radiator, heat transfer increases due to factors such as increased airflow along hot surfaces or increased temperature difference between ambient air and the heat source. In this project, the simulations are done for 0.01 and 0.05 kg per second fluid mass inlets and two different types of pipe adiabatic and convective. The energy model is activated and the S standard K epsilon model with S standard wall function is used for analyzing the fluid flow. The geometry is designed in ANSYS design modeler and is meshed in ANSYS meshing. The meshes used for this geometry are unstructured. And also the effect of the gravity has not been taken into account. There are two different uh, cell zones that includes a panel that is solid and also the pipe zone that is fluid. And the inlet temperature is assumed to be equal to the 300 degree of Kelvin. As we know the solar panel wall should be as a convection thermal condition because uh, the free stream uh, connect to this solar panel and also the temperature of the free stream is equal to the 300 degree of Kelvin that shows the ambient temperature and also the heat transfer coefficient is equal to 5 and beside the material of the solar panel is assumed to be the aluminium Uh, you can use the residual monitors uh, dialog box to control the residual information that Fluent uh, software reports. In the equations section, the residual option indicates the name of each variable for which residual information is available. And the monitor indicates whether or not the residuals for each variable are to be monitored. You can toggle monitoring on and off for each variable by turning the corresponding checkbox in the monitor list on or off. The check convergence option indicates uh, whether or not the convergence of each variable is to be monitored. Uh, if convergence is being monitored, the solution will stop automatically when each variable meets its specified convergence criterion. You can check convergence only for variables for which you are monitoring residuals. You can toggle convergence checking on and off for each variable by turning the corresponding checkbox in the check convergent uh, list on or off. And finally, the absolute criteria uh, or relative criteria shows the re uh, residual value for which the solution of each variable will be considered to be converged. To set this value uh, manually, enter the new value in the corresponding absolute criteria field. And that's it. At the first step, we should uh, specify a plane that we are going to show the contours on it. So the X constant uh, plane seems to be an appropriate plane for displaying the contours. In this way, we make the desired plane and show every desired contour on that. As we can see, the temperature of the inlet is equal to 300 degree of Kelvin and passing through the radiator and connecting coupling with the solar panel the outlet temperature has been increased as we can check in the console part the outlet temperature has been increased more than 
1 degree and it's equal to 1.77 degree of Kelvin increase in the temperature because uh, of the heat transfer between the radiator pipe and also the solar panel. The applied settings are recapitulated in the following tables as a review. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Master CFT services including simulation, consultation and training, contact our experts via info at signmastercft.com.